And now, BBC Two, it's time to get busy in the kitchen. Jelly on the plate, jelly on the plate, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on the plate. <laughs> Hello, Misha and I are making some of our favourite foods, and this delicious looking jelly is made from paper, plastic, cotton wool. It's even got a bit of a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> right, what other food should we make, Misha? Let's get cooking. I love lettuce. Cheese. Let's see if we can make some chicken. And squeeze one end of it so it's like a drumstick. Push your pipe cleaner in nearly all the way up. I'm so looking forward to this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. String makes great spaghetti. I call a feast. Do you know what I fancy now? What? Some fruit. Me too. Can make a lemon. Too. Make a small one. Looks like dots. That's me. right, they are dots. How about an orange? All you have to do is just roll it through. Show me. Shape. Oh, that's cheating, Misha. <laughs> Bend it. Like a banana. Like a banana. Look at that. You can make different apples. You can. And I'm going to make my apple half red and half You can make different colours. You make another pudding. You make a trifle and I'll make a fruit sundae. The first story today is all about a girl called Polly and all her favourite foods. And it's called Grandad Pot. Story time! Hello? Hello, Grandad Pot. Mummy said I could come to tea and stay the night. And if I'm good, you might make me a chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is my favourite food. Oh. Don't worry, Grandad Pot. I won't be any trouble. Hmm. What a surprise for Grandad Pot. Polly is coming to stay. <coughs> quick, quick, quick. A chocolate cake for Polly. <coughs> ah. Hello, Grandad Pot. Can Henry come too? He won't be any trouble. Henry has a big plaster on his knee. He was doing cartwheels in the garden and he fell over. He didn't cry. He told me that jelly and ice cream will make his knee better. Oh, don't worry, Grandad Pot. Henry can sleep in my bed. Oh, what a surprise for Grandad Pot. Henry is coming to stay. Quick, quick, quick. Jelly and ice cream for Henry. Oh, and a chocolate cake for Polly. Hello, Grandad Pot. Can Rosie come too? She won't be any trouble. Rosie isn't feeling very well today. I think she has a cold. She sneezed four times this morning. She likes banana sandwiches best. Don't worry, Grandad Pot. Rosie can sleep in my bed too. Oh, what a surprise for Grandad mm. Pot. Rosie is coming to stay. Quick, quick, quick. Banana sandwiches for Rosie, jelly and ice cream for Henry, oh, and a chocolate cake for Polly. Hello, Grandad Pot. Can George come too? He won't be any trouble. George has red spotted shorts and a big fat tummy. His favourite food is sausages. Don't worry, Grandad Pot. 
George can sleep in my bed too. Oh, what a surprise for Grandad Pot. Mm. George is coming to stay. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Uh, sausages for George, banana sandwiches for Rosie, jelly and ice cream for Henry. Oh, and a chocolate cake for Polly. Hello, Grandad Pot. This is Henry, this is Rosie, and this is George. What a surprise oh. for Grandad Pot. Oh, and what an enormous tea for Polly. Good night, Grandad Pot. It's lots of fun coming to stay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. We're getting hungry, too, and we're ringing up to order one of our favourite foods. Pizza. It's ringing. Hello? Hello. Would you like to order pizza? Yes, please. Cheese and tomato? Yes, please. Who is it for? Me too, and Beverly. Oh, OK. Bye. One plain cheese and tomato for Misha and Barbara, please. Pizza round, pizza flat, pizza thin, pizza fat. Fancy, plain, tomato, cheese. What's on top is what you please. Hello? Hello, it's Beverly here. I've just ordered a cheese and tomato pizza, and I was just thinking, can we have olives on it too, black and green? OK, bye. <laughs> Can I have an egg on my pizza, please? No problem. She doesn't look wonderful. Yes. What can you see on the top? I can see eggs. Yes, there's your egg. Do you want to choose a piece? That piece. Okay. But you don't like the olive, do you? So I'll have that. Goodbye, Miss Olive. There you go. Mmm, that's a good pizza. We didn't have much trouble eating that up. Not like Gemma in our next story, which is called... Eat up Gemma! There's Gemma, and who's that sitting next to her? Her brother. Her brother, and it's her brother who tells the story. One morning, we woke up late. I couldn't find my shoes, and Gemma wouldn't eat her breakfast. Eat up, Gemma, said Mum. But Gemma threw her breakfast on the floor. Later on, we went to the market. Mum bought a bag of apples and some bananas. The man at the fruit store gave me a bunch of grapes. He gave some to Gemma too. Eat up, Gemma, said the man. But Gemma pulled the grapes off one by one and squashed them. When we got home, Grandma had made the dinner. Nice and spicy, said Dad. Just how I like it. 
It was nice and spicy, all right. I drank three glasses of water. Eat up, Gemma, said Grandma. Gemma banged her spoon on the table and shouted, but she didn't eat a thing. The next day was Saturday, and Dad took us to the park. We had chocolate biscuits for a treat. I ate two, and then another, another two. two. Eat up, Gemma, said Dad. But Gemma didn't eat her biscuits. She just licked off all the chocolate and gave the rest to the birds. In the evening, our friends were having a party. Eat up, everyone, said our friends. And we did, all except Gemma. She sat on Grandma's knee and gave her dinner to the dog when Grandma wasn't looking. After the party, my friend came to stay and we had a midnight feast. Gemma didn't have any. She was too tired. In the morning, we made Gemma a feast. Eat up, Gemma, said my friend. Gemma picked up her toy hammer and banged her feast to pieces. My friend thought it was funny, but Mum and Dad didn't. Soon it was time for us to put on our best clothes and go to church. I sang very loudly. The lady in front of us had a hat with fruit on it. I could see Gemma looking and looking. When everyone was really quiet, Gemma leaned forward. Eat up, Gemma, she said. Then she tried to pull a grape off the lady's hat. She pulled and pulled and the lady's hat fell off. <gasps> Gemma hid her face in Dad's coat. <laughs> when we got home, I had an idea. I found a plate and a bowl. I turned the bowl upside down and put it on the plate. Then I took a bunch of grapes and two bananas and put them on the plate. It looked just like the lady's hat. Eat up, Gemma, I said. And she did. She ate all the grapes and the bananas. She even tried to eat the skins. Oh, thank goodness for that, said Mum. We were getting worried, said Dad. Grandma smiled at me. I felt very proud. Gemma, eat up, said Gemma. And we all laughed. <laughs> I've made something that we're going to eat up. Looks a bit like that lady's hat. But it's not a hat. It's a... Jelly. It's a real jelly and it wobbles, look. Jelly on a plate. Jelly on a plate. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, jelly on a plate. Can you see the fruits inside? Hmm? Grapes. Grapes and cherries and bananas. Perhaps you might like to make a jelly too. It could even be made out of a plastic pot. Like this. I'll see you soon. Bye. Right, do you want some of this jelly? Which bit would you like? This bit here, okay. We're off to a shoemaking factory in next Monday's story time here on BBC Two at nine o'clock.